This video demonstrates the design procedure of an axially loaded short column as per IS 456-2000 code provisions. Watch this video till the end to learn the basic concepts and the step-by-step -step reinforcement calculations. In this video, we will learn the design of a RCC column for the following data. Column dimensions are 450 mm by 600 mm. Axial service load acting on the column is 1800 kN. Unsupported length of the column is 3 meter. The column is braced against side sway in both direction at both ends. The grade of concrete is M20 and the grade of steel is FE415. Now get the values of FCK and FY. The value of FCK for M20 grade concrete is 20 Newton per mm square. The value of FY for FE415 steel is 415 Newton per mm square. In the problem statement, size of the column is given. Hence, in design, it is required to find only reinforcement. Let us find out first the given column is short or slender. As per clause 25.1.2 of IS 456-2000, a column member may be considered as short when both the slenderness ratio LEX by D and LEY by B are less than 12. Where LEX is the effective length in respect of major axis, while LEY is the effective length in respect of minor axis. Capital D is the depth of column in respect of major axis and B is the width of column. So to calculate the slenderness ratio, effective length of the column LEX and LEY are required. But in problem statement, unsupported length equal to 3 meter is given. Hence, let us refer the table number 28 to calculate the effective length. As the column is braced against side sway in both direction at both ends, it is effectively held in position at both ends. First, three types given in the table are satisfying this condition. As the condition of rotation restraint is not mentioned in the problem statement, let us assume third type for simplicity. Select the recommended value of effective length which is equal to 1.0 times L, where L is unsupported length. Based on this, let us compute the effective length LEX and LEY. Here we required the values of LX and LY which are the unsupported length of the column in respect of major and minor axis respectively. As only one unsupported length is given in the problem statement, consider, consider LX and LY equal to 3 meter. Here we are getting effective length LEX and LEY equal to 3 meter. Now by putting the values of effective length LEX and LEY, depth and width of column, we get LEX by D equal to 5 and LEY by B equal to 6.6. .6. Here both the slenderness ratio are less than 12. Hence we can say the column is short column. As per clause 25.4 of IS 456, all the columns shall be designed for minimum eccentricity, which is equal to unsupported length of column divided by 500 plus lateral dimensions divided by 30, subjected to a, a minimum of 20 mm. So let us calculate the minimum eccentricities. First compute the eccentricity EX minimum in respect of major axis. As discussed previously in the slenderness ratio computation, consider unsupported length LX and LY equal to 3 meter. Put all the values in mm in the formula. After solving, we get EX min equal to 26 mm, which is more than 20 mm. In case this value will be less than 20 mm, then we need to consider it equal to 20 mm. Similarly, compute eccentricity EY min which is equal to 21 mm. 
As per clause 39.3, when the minimum eccentricity does not exceed 0.05 times the lateral dimension, the column may be designed by using the equation given in this clause. So, first calculate the value of 0.05 times depth. This is equal to 30 mm. Here, Ex mean is less than 0.05 times D. Next, calculate the value of 0.05 times width. This is equal to 22.5 mm. Here, Ey mean is also less than 0.05 times B. As both values of minimum eccentricity is less than 0.05 lateral dimension, use the formula given in clause 39.3 to design or calculate the longitudinal reinforcement. In this formula, PU is ultimate axial load, AC is area of a concrete in the column section and ASC is the area of a longitudinal reinforcement. The value of ultimate axial load PU will be calculated by multiplying service or working load P with partial load factor. Take the value of partial load factor equal to 1.5. Hence, the ultimate axial load PU equal to 2700 kN. Area of a concrete AC can be calculated by deducting area of a longitudinal reinforcement ASC from total cross cross sectional area of a column that is AG. Substitute the value of AC in equation number 1. After rearranging and solving the equation, we get the required longitudinal reinforcement that is ASC equal 1999.63 mm square. As per clause 26.5.3.1, the minimum longitudinal reinforcement should be 0.8% of gross cross sectional area of the column, while the maximum longitudinal reinforcement is 6% of the gross cross sectional area of the column. For the practical purpose, maximum reinforcement is taken as 4%. So, let us calculate the minimum and maximum area of the longitudinal reinforcement. After solving, we get the minimum area of the steel equal to 2160 mm square, while the maximum area of the steel equal to 10800 mm square. As the minimum area of the steel required is more than the calculated value, hence the required area of a longitudinal reinforcement is equal to 2160 mm square. As per the clause 26.5.3.1 C and D, the minimum number of bars in rectangular column are 4, while the minimum diameter of the bar is 12 mm. Now let us fix the number of bars to be provided as longitudinal reinforcement. Select the bar diameter as 20 mm. The cross sectional area of this bar is 314 mm square. Now compute the number of bars by dividing the required area of a steel by cross sectional area of each bar. In column, always provide the even number of longitudinal bars. Hence, provide 8 number of 20 mm dia bars as longitudinal reinforcement. Thus, the total area of the steel provided is equal to 2512 mm square. In next step, let us compute the diameter and spacing of the lateral ties. As per clause 26.5.3.2, the diameter of the lateral ties shall not less than one fourth of the diameter of the largest longitudinal bar and in no case less than 6 mm. Here, only 20 mm bar diameter is used for longitudinal steel. Hence, the one fourth value of the dia is 5 mm. Therefore, use the 8 mm diameter lateral ties. Next, the spacing of the ties shall not be more than the least of the following. First, 
the least lateral dimension second 16 times the smallest diameter of longitudinal bar and third 300 mm here first least lateral dimension is 450 mm second 16 times smallest diameter of longitudinal bar is 320 mm hence provide the spacing of ties equal to least of all these three values that is 300 mm therefore provide 8 mm diameter ties at 300 mm center to center finally let us summarize the design and the reinforcement detailing an axially loaded rectangular short column is designed with m20 grade of concrete and fe415 steel the width of the column is 450 mm while the depth is 600 mm eight numbers of 20 mm dia bars are provided as longitudinal reinforcement while 8 mm dia lateral ties are provided at spacing 300 mm center to center if you like this video then share your thoughts in comment section subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of such interesting videos for visual and simplified learning of various civil engineering topics